What's going on, everyone? My name's Jeremy. This is JMed's Brick Clicks. This is a little bit different video than what I'm used to, but it's a kind of a, I didn't know Lego made this, or wow, this is a Lego piece I've never seen before, or this is something I never would have thought would be Lego if I was rummaging through a, a parts bin. You see some sets on there. It's not the set, it's a piece on the set. Then there's some other stuff here. I got a little tray of goodies here too to go through. So first up, we're gonna do this little coastal cutter set that I got as a kid and this weird piece on the back. And you can see, we'll raise this up. And yeah, that, other than the connection point, that's a Lego piece. Would you believe that as I knock the, the antenna off? That's a Lego piece. You can see that does that. You gotta connect the rope and tie a knot on it. And what this did is it came with a little, as I pop another piece off, it came with a little dinghy or like a little speedboat that connected to it. And it had a little piece this went all the way back and I think it actually like this piece here on the front of that little boat and you just put all that down pulled up to it and that boat just kind of picked you up and pulled you ashore and you can see how it does it wants to do that so you kind of got to push it back kind of weird that that's a Lego piece I don't know any other set that this was in but yeah first off number two this is one of only two Lego tractors made in the 1960s. This is the second ever Lego brick-built tractor that they've made. It's not the tractor, it's not the wheels, it's the connector piece. And I know this is gonna fall off, so I'm just gonna take it off because pieces are 60-something years old. Yeah, it's like these kind of bricks, the old style. So let's look at that piece. Yeah, it looks like a brick and an extra piece of like hot glue that just got stuck together. So let's take it off. And this was pretty common. Yeah, there's actually a couple colors. There's like a creamy color, a clear color. You can see it says Lego on it through the dirt. <laughs> and yeah, pretty rigid. It moves, but that was how you, if you wanted to have a vehicle it had a trailer, or it was pulling something, and the clutch power is fine on that. You can see it's not on the rest of the set, but it connects, hopefully. There it goes. Like I said, the set's pretty old. It doesn't go perfect, but anyway, that's this little set. I'm going to move it off to the side because I'm probably going to break it if I keep messing with it even more. And yeah, tires don't go well, but it, it's a hard set. This little set here, it's almost impossible to find the, the paper instructions. If you guys have them, please let me know. We can work out a deal. But I have never seen them on BrickLink in five years for sale. So that's how rare just the instructions of this are. I actually had to get the PDF version of this to find it. The next one, this set came out in the early 2000s. And it's really cool hovercraft. It's one of those rare sets in the 2000s decade that was actually pretty good. It wasn't a boxy piece of junk. And you can see our hovercraft thing moves. We've got a little play feature here where the, the boat jets out. We move it back. It's not the rubber band. It's not the play features. It's the rubber coating around it. This, that's a Lego piece. It just looks like a piece of weather stripping you'd put around your window or door, or maybe on your car door. But that is a Lego piece. You can check BrickLink and get these pieces. In that. And then there's also the small one. So yeah, that is really, it doesn't say Lego on it. So you don't have this set and I don't know how many sets these actually came in but it's one of those things where you just have to know 
it's like it know it existed to even know what you're looking at. You can see it kind of wants to roll. It's because it's got airplane tires under it to make this hovercraft work. This also came with like a little building, just like a little shed that you'd put right near the dock. Uh, pretty cool little set. But yeah, the rubber pieces that don't say Lego. So we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's look at these big ones back here. These came out around that same early 2000s, maybe right at 2000. And what they are, they're storage things. And you can see they're just hollow inside. I have seen someone, and there's where the Lego connector pins go. Um, this was in an, an adventure set. I think it's like a jungle adventure set. So it sits like this, and you have like a little, I guess it's a little car. I think it even had wheels on it that uh, sat under it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I had a piece there. I've seen this set sealed um, go for like two or three hundred dollars, which I don't, I don't believe that. It does have more stickers. Um, I think it had like a mean face on the front. I left them off. I have seen someone make custom stickers for the turtle blimp for Ninja Turtles. I, I've thought about that. I did put a couple on. They're starting to peel. But yeah. Oh, here's our set number, maybe. Or maybe that's the part number. I'm sorry. But if you need the part number, you can look it up by that and then figure out what set this is in. Same era besides that. Um, the Lego Adventures Desert set came with this. And I do have parts in this one. Open it up. That's where you keep your parts. I think this came with a car and a little biplane. But I did put the stickers on. And I think there may have been something out there where you can build around it and build this up with like the, the big ugly rock pieces and maybe form it to where you've got a base around it have out all your vehicles around it, and that just kind of like be the monument area. But yeah, that's another cool one. It's also pretty rare. I haven't looked it up on price or seen it for sale anywhere. Um, I did put all the stickers on this one. All right, let's get to the other interesting little things. Did you know Lego made these? This one's pretty common. I started here. It's an easy one. This came with the early 2000s um, Lego, maybe right at... 99 even uh, Lego Space Series. It's a really cool piece. We've got that one. Now we get into some other interesting ones, and it's not the wheel, the steering wheel piece. It's not that. It's the hook, and it's a metal hook. So let's take this out. And you can see, yeah, that's all steel. Maybe even, that might even be cast iron. I'm not sure. But that fits in there for your pulley system. And these came on some cranes, con some construction technic sets back then. And man, I mean, it's a real hook. You could hook somebody with it. I mean, it'd do some damage if you caught somebody. Man, like that? Jeez. <laughs> some Lego weaponry. Realistic Lego weaponry. All right. This one, this is one of the coolest pieces I ever got. I got it as a in a Shell gas station set back in the middle 80s. And it's this little jack, and it, uh, it does say Lego on it. Yeah, there's the Lego, but it, it's an actual jack that works. So let's move it up, and if you move this back, that stays. So I don't have a little vehicle handy. Um, let's use my little mini tractor here, a little custom build I did. So yeah, if you put it on there, it's going to stay. And then when you're done, you lower it down. And the tractor can move off. And these will hold minifigure, I mean, minifigure four wide, probably even six. I don't know why it wouldn't hold six wide actual builds to where you have like the corner garage modular. This is an awesome thing to have. You guys need this piece. And it just stays up just the way it's built. Yeah. What do you guys think? Okay, next piece. Now, we all know Lego does road signs. They have the road sign packs, which right now, with the making of this video, if you look on lego.com, there's no extras in, like, the poly bag. They were under the extras uh, section. But these came out. These were the 80s, even 70s. Um, the, the original road signs. 
printed, not stickers. The stickers came in the 90s, and then they just kind of went to crap after that. But yeah, the original sticker, or the original road signs, I do have, they actually had some service packs where you got several, I think you got two stop signs in a, in a service pack. So I think I have like four or five stop signs, um, all different ones. But yeah, that's really cool. Wish they'd bring those back or at least have road signs again. Man, we're missing out. You guys have seen these. Um, I think some of these are still used, but the magnet piece, for some reason, they're a couple bucks a piece. I don't know why. I guess Lego kind of maybe stopped making them. But these were, this is off my 9 volt train that I got in the 90s. Yep, with our little bumpers. I love that piece. There's the part number 4022, it looks like. All right, next up. Here's a piece you probably wouldn't think is a Lego piece. Mine's got a little bend to it. This went on a forklift. And I got this in one of the early cargo sets, uh, middle, early 80s, I want to say. Now, one of the things to note here, just about all of these in this little container, if you started collecting Lego in the last 15 years, you probably, you don't, yeah, you're not going to have these pieces. Everything here is 20 years old or older. I should have said that from the start, <laughs> including that 60 plus years old. So this went on a spring-loaded forklift. Really cool piece. Oh, it does say Lego. I, I missed that earlier. Yeah, it does say Lego. There's a track to it. Um, I need to get a new one. And the full assembly of this, which I do have another one that came in, a, in an airport set, it's like $20 for this full assembly with this, the track, and the little metal spring. So really... Man, it's expensive to those rare pieces are expensive if they break and you got to go back and get a new one. It's frustrating at times. All right, next up, you guys have seen Lego trees. If you've seen my videos, you've seen me make a bunch of custom Lego trees. Well, back in the 50s, 60s, these were the Lego trees and bushes. Yeah. Um, let me grab a piece here. I want to show you something. So, and they do, they're compatible for the most part. I think this one just may have a little bit of a bend on it, but they click on one solid piece and it looks like probably even hand painted, I would guess, um, a little bit of brown on that one. This one, yeah, I don't know what, okay, there we go. Just a solid mold. Really simple design. This one, I would guess, is hand-painted. Since you can kind of see how it is. Um, and then you can kind of see on the side how it's fading off. So I would almost say these had to be hand-painted. Lego wasn't selling millions back in the day, in the 50s and early 60s. So I guess you could have somebody just standing there with a paintbrush... I mean, that was their job, probably. But really cool for Lego history for me, having these three different sets. And you can see the green color difference. I'm, yeah, it was some, and they were only like a couple dollars a piece, even today, because I got them on Bricklink looking for other stuff, and those popped up in the either the trees or the plants section when you just look under a Bricklink seller's name and pieces. Sometimes they're there. Okay, I just got a couple more. This is a metal weight. Yeah, it's a metal weight. And what does this do? It does say Lego on it. This is a piece of steel, but it goes with the next piece that I'm gonna look at, and it's these. These are railroad crossings. I think theirs are only in f maybe three or four sets, but they're so perfectly balanced that you can, and this is the other piece I'm talking about, which you can kind of see the assembly there. Just use a Technic pen. That, yeah, you can put them up, and, and they go all the, over the place, but you can, I mean, they're so perfectly balanced, you can set them at any angle you want. So maybe the road, or maybe the train's coming, and they're just starting to go up. Maybe they're all the way up. Maybe 
Maybe it's broke and it's down, or maybe it's just normal and you're getting ready to cross. That's how perfectly balanced and engineered these pieces are with this one and then the long bar piece. A few bucks a piece for each one. If you guys are interested, if you guys have Lego cities and Lego city crossings and you don't want to use like the Technic round pieces that are tubes, then you just build. You just want these single pieces. This is the way to go. That's an awesome piece. All right, last two pieces. The one is pretty easy. These are 70s, 80s. And this is more reference, but you can kind of see the string. Plastic. But then they also made the steel one. And you see the Lego wording on it. You can see I need to get new string, too. I think this was on one of my Lego yellow early middle 80s construction cranes. I got the crane built, but I know I need to do some restringing. And trying to find this string... And you pay as much, a few dollars for just a piece of string. And it, it's hard to swallow for that, to fix this. And I want it to be authentic. But yeah, man, Lego Lego with the hooks and the, the steel pieces. That's a long gone era for sure. But anyway, that's the video for today. What do you guys think? To me, it was pretty interesting. I know there's a few more things out there I'm probably forgetting, but this is what I had. This is kind of what I come up with. Let me know. Hopefully you guys liked it. Maybe you guys are interested in picking up some of these pieces, maybe for your Lego City or just for your collection, or maybe you didn't know they existed. Hopefully I taught you something. That was my goal is to, wow, I didn't know this existed. <laughs> Have that thought process. Thanks for watching, everyone. I know it went a little long. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.